Hello, it's time for story time again. Grandma's here, hope you had a great day. It's been a nice day today. So I have a Easter story to read. I bet you know who that is, the big red dog. It's Clifford's East Happy Easter. And the author and illustrator is Norman Bridwell. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth and I love spring. So does my dog Clifford. The best part of springtime is Easter. Last spring, Mom and Dad brought us a lot of eggs to color for the big Easter egg hunt. <clears throat> On the day before Easter, I dyed the eggs. Clifford wanted to help. Poor Clifford. He wasn't very good at painting eggs. So Clifford helped by watching me decorate the eggs. He's a good watcher. When I went to bed that night, I fell asleep dreaming about Easter eggs. <clears throat> It was a beautiful dream. Clifford was stirring the giant tub of dye while I tossed in the eggs. But then Clifford lost his balance. He tumbled into the tub of dye. Something surprising began to happen. Clifford suddenly was bright green. It was just like St. Patrick's Day. Then he turned sunshiny yellow. He was becoming a very, it was, this was becoming a very strange dream. I grabbed a brush and began to dab on purple polka dots. Clifford looked good in polka dots. But they didn't last long. The purple dots turned into squares. And Clifford looked like a giant checkerboard. I didn't like that. I threw on some more dye. Clifford started to change colors again. Now he was red, white, and blue. I always wondered if I dreamed in color. Now I know. This was way too much. I tried to scrub the dye off of Clifford. I was getting frantic. Then I woke up. It was Easter morning and the sun was shining. I ran out to see Clifford. Thank goodness he looked just the same as always. Good old Clifford. We joined my friends and set off on the Easter egg hunt. We looked high. We looked low. Clifford looked in places I would not have thought of. No hiding place was missed.
sometimes Clifford went a little too far. His hard work helped. We ended up with heaps of eggs. Which we shared with our friends. After all, friends are what makes East makes a Easter a happy one. The end. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter tomorrow. Have a good time with your family and I'll be in touch again. All right. Take care. Grandma loves you. Grandpa too. Love you a lot. Bye-bye.